So, um, yeah, welcome everybody for this game of the XTC 2021 between Germany and Iceland. Let's head over to the table. Glad to have you guys here with me commentating. Um, yeah, this round is uh, pretty huge for, uh, especially for Germany here. If they're going to win round six, they are basically through uh, for the final. Um, so I don't think that there is any danger of um, them losing, going down like a third place in the in the in the group. Uh, so so far there were not many games played. It's only one nil for Team Germany versus Iceland here. Um, most of the games are like later on. Uh, there was one game yesterday. Then there's this one. There's going to be another game. Uh, in like five hours uh, on Nickel City X-Wing. Um, so, Simon, you, you're streaming as well uh, on the YouTube channel Tauntaun Squadron. Check that out. Yep. Um, and you have a game as well t l later on, right? Yeah, I've got uh, Fan uh, Langeland from uh, the Netherlands and he is up against Matthew Carbon from France and this is a huge match. I mean, this is pretty much going to decide who wins. If France win this, they are pretty much guaranteed to make the top cup. So, should be two good players and a, and a good thing. And that's at 17.30 UTC tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and you're, you're also a sub for Team All-Ireland on the XTC. Have you played any games so far? I haven't, but uh, as I say, I'm going to England um, on Saturday and... Uh, I'm actually playing at four o'clock on Saturday. I'm playing my first game. Oh, exciting. So it is exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm hoping that my brother's internet, which is where I will be playing from, is as good as mine. But uh, he's got three kids and they're all teenagers. So I assume they play Xbox. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Rasta, you are our rebel expert. Uh, guide us through the list that uh, Stefan is playing here. Yeah, I would like to do so, but my um, program stopped updating at 88%. Oh, and no! So, uh, we'll try to read all those blank cards. Just a moment, please. No, I have to relock. Sorry. We'll be here again soon. Never mind. So, Simon, uh, then you might start with Timo's list. Sure. So, uh, he's got uh, the Brobots. Um, was one of the best lists. Won a version of Worlds. And it's I, G, Idiot, B, and B. Uh, B has got Elusive, Advanced Sensors, Auto Blasters, because why would you not? Ion Cannon, because again, why would you not? Yeah. Proton Bombs, which are super good in this meta. Rigged Cargo Shoot is going to get a huge round of applause from me, because I think that's fantastic. Uh, Hull Upgrade and the title. Again, D has got pretty much exactly the same, uh, but uh, he has got the Hull Upgrade as well, so pretty much exactly the same things and then with the title they both get their abilities which is kind of nasty lots of double calculates and things and oh god yeah good list mods are king uh uh sam and i we talked a little bit before the game and uh i i already said like the the two igs is something that you don't see too often at the moment uh, Timo is quite experienced with the list, um, and we all know Team Rob is uh, absolutely uh, capable of pulling off some incredible things in X-Wing. Um, but it's kind of ballsy to play um, a scum list like this. There are other things that you might think of first when, when it comes to uh, the, the scum faction. Uh, and I think there are some, some matchups who are quite difficult for Timo. Um, what do you guys think about uh, this matchup here? 50-50, because that Heritani list is just amazing. It's easily the best list the Rebel Faction have got by a long, long way. Yeah. So, you know, can he get through the token passing? That's what Timo needs to do. And for Germany to win, if he can take Kyle out quick, that makes his job a bit easier. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Rasta, did you manage to get back on the table? No, I'm sorry. I think I have to drop out. Um, it is stopping updating. It's 65% now, and I don't even see the table or the ships. Oh, no. I can't see anything. Yeah, 
Um, I don't know if it's the same for you. Um, we have a heavy rainstorm outside. Yes. Maybe this is interfering with my internet. You know how bad my internet connection Could is. Could be, yeah. It isn't updating. I'm sorry. I'll have to drop out. We oh, sorry. Try again oh. another time. Yeah. Have fun, you both. Okay. Thanks. Thanks anyway. See you. Uh, see you on Sunday. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. First in-person tournament. Yes. Yay. We're high. Oh, we lucky people. <laughs> we lucky, lucky people. Yeah. <laughs> we absolutely see are. you. Okay. See you. And sorry. Bye. So I am going to tell them that they can start whenever they want. You're ready. So that they're not waiting. So. This should be good. Two really good players, so. Yeah. So, uh, since Sebastian wasn't able to do it, um, what do you think, can you guide us through uh, the Heratani list? Sure, that's uh, one of my favorite lists. I uh, flew this many, many times in tournaments and it's, uh, it's really effective. So it starts off with Benthic two tubes in the U-Wing, he's just moved. He's got the Pivot Wing title on there, which comes for free. Perceptive Co-Pilot, that's uh, take a focus, you get two. And then Leah Organa, you spend the three charges that you can see on the right-hand side of your screen. And your difficulty maneuvers are reduced, so reds become whites, so you can still take actions. Kyle is in the Moldy Crow and has Jin Urso, so anytime you take a focus, you can make it an evade. Which yeah. doesn't sound that good until you realize it's that amazing. that's Marvin. Garvin is in the list, and anytime he spends a focus, he can then pass it to somebody else. And nine times out of ten, that is going to go to Harris and Dilla in the A wing. She's got thread tracers, and if he flies this right by about turn three, there will be about seven or eight tokens across these ships because Benthic, with his two focus, has to pass one over. And nine times out of ten, that also goes to Hera. Yeah. So we see that um, Stefan has uh, most of his ships, like uh, from our point of view, at the bottom of the board, uh, yep. with Hera trailing a little bit behind. Uh, she's there as a, a support uh, in, in in the first place, and uh, yeah. So yep. Timo, of no, course, no. does not want to joust that. So looking for a good engagement for a nice angle where he can approach the rebels yeah uh, the asteroid fails out of the, the whole turn zero thing was they took their time doing this so there's none of this oh, i'll just put it in the center and then i'll go two to two and they actually took their time uh because we were on the table obviously before uh the stream went live uh, i think that's probably in favor of Tamo. if you want the truth i think he's got mm -hmm. blocks of where he wanted them so uh, being the first player, I gave him the opportunity to put the three rocks uh, where he wanted them to be. So um, he set up channels. Let's see if he's done it for a bit. So, um, I mean, Timo has to be really careful here. Um, I mean, with three green uh, evade dice and uh, nine health points in total, the, the IGs can be quite sturdy, but still, if you get, like, focus firing on them, they can down pre pretty quickly as well. Um, and with only two ships you have in the list, um, you have to make every shot count and uh, have to be really careful uh, about your ships. Yeah, but they've got a phenomenal dial, the IGs. Uh, they really do. And the, the fact that they can take both their um, pilot talents as well, so, like, B is um, when you... Do a calculate, you get a second one, and because the title says, you know, uh, you have the other pilot's ability as well. So as long as B is alive, it's a double calculated for both. Mm -hmm. And then B has got any time you do a signal loop. So if you do a little sloop, you can make it a different speed instead. Or so that is makes them so slippery. Um, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. So um, as you may have seen, I have uh, opened the bets. Uh, for this match here, you can win some wicked points uh, by betting on the player who you think is going to win. So exclamation point bet, then uh, one or two, depending on who you think is going to win. One for Timo, two for Stefan on the right side, and then the amount of points. Or you can just type in exclamation point bet, one or two, and all, if you want to put all your 
points in the bucket. Uh, we were speaking of, uh, we can see Dodo in the chat. You know Dodo, right, Simon? Oh, very well. One of the nicest people I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Yeah, and he's, he's an absolute splendid man. Yeah, he is the one who is organizing the tournament that we are going to play at uh, on, on Sunday. And oh, they're, wow. they're, they're always great, great fun. Good. Well, lucky you. Uh, at the minute, it's uh, fly casual for me if I want to play by myself, which I've been doing quite a lot. As I'm up against F Oasis with a, a rather unique Republic builds, what I'm flying in. It's very unique. It is lots and lots and lots and lots of triggers. So uh, <laughs> I'll be taking my time uh, to make sure that I don't not use them because they're all very, very good triggers. Yeah, that so. would be like nothing for me. Uh, <laughs> I, I need like more simple list with not too many triggers because I tend to forget them like all of the time uh at the moment i i like to play a list uh, with fen and alterok both with fearless and then kane and jerris in the in the hawk with uh moldy crow zem wessel um false transponder codes and um thermal detonators and Oof. the times i have forgotten about the zem trigger oh man it's just like it's it's the only thing that i have to be pay attention uh and still i yep. forget it like half of the time Oh, it's that uh, triggers can be forgotten. Ships can be flown off boards. Dials can be set completely wrong. It's 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 a game, and it makes life quite complicated. <laughs> uh, but you've just seen there, like that's that's just beautiful. That's just a beautiful thing with the advanced sensors to boost end of the two hard to the right. That's yeah, not where Stefan thought that the D was going to be at all. I mean, every ship or every upgrade card that lets you do. Uh, a maneuver or a boost or a barrel roll before your actual maneuver is so good. And um, if you're like good with that, you can pull off some really, really beautiful stuff. Um, one of my absolute favorite chips to play uh, is, is uh, Guri uh, with advanced oh. sensors. And it's just like absolutely amazing. It, it rem Guri with advanced sensors makes the original phantoms seem really tame you have no yeah. idea where there is gonna be yes. it's so hard to get auric on yeah that's true apostasos thank you very much for the tier one sap uh six months now half a year already uh thanks for the support uh getting closer to our giveaway goal uh, we're trying to reach 50 subs by the end of the uh, round robin of the XTC. Uh, we achieved 40 already, and if we reach the 50s, uh, there will be some uh, card packs and tokens for the XTC game. A small uh, Star Wars Lego set that will be given out to everyone in Twitch chat the next time after we reach the, the goal, then we will have a, have a giveaway for that one. Yeah. That sounds real good. They say this is good. You get given out stuff on stream. That's just marvelous. Yeah, I, I like to make people happy. <laughs> yeah, and you do. And you do. So um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's almost as much as a pleasure being here as seeing those beautifully painted Icelandic ships. Oh, yeah. I'll take a special look on that, uh, that X-Wing here. It just looks really, really nice. I mean, the others are cool, too. It's just like the Icelandic flag on it. Uh, but especially the the X wing here of Garvin uh, Drace is uh, very detailed and looks really cool. It's so good. It is so good. I love the round dolls on it. He's tried to make it look like a, a World War II Spitfire, and I think that's class. Yeah, that's really good. So yeah, kudos to whoever made these because they are great. I'm a bit partial to painting ships and TTS myself, so <laughs> it, 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 those are very straight lines. I'm, I'm very impressed. Yes. Are you into uh, painting uh, ships like in real life, your real miniatures? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, Way back when, you know, when all this was black and white, uh, Cass Scarlet was one of the better um, fire spray pilots mm -hmm. in version one. And, yes. Uh, Hers was all white and red, so I custom made that and then, and then threw a whole bottle of nun oil over the top of it. Yeah. It looked completely horrid, and it, it turned out really well. I have a Keth Scarlet painted to Fire Spray as well. 
it's, it's, I mean, you have to. Yeah. You, you have to. Yeah. Um, it's such a shame that her ability is, like, really not any good in, in 2.0. No, but the title, the, the her title of her ship is actually really quite good. So you, you can sort of paint it up. And I've done like um, Kyle and the Moldy Crow. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's all repainted white and red and all that sort of stuff. So again, that's that's a nice one to have because, you know, the brown one's a bit boring. Yeah, you know? that's true. It's just a bit boring. So uh, yeah, we've got Kyle done. So that's nice. They're taking their time with this. And we're only on like the the third movement phase. Oh, here we go. So I could imagine. I mean, you cannot like kite around with your whole rebel list uh, for like too long here. You have to yep. pick pick your fight um, because otherwise the IGs are gonna catch up you from you from okay. the flank or from cool. behind. Totally, and that's that's the issue with the Heritani list. You don't want things getting behind you. Uh, admittedly, Leia makes that less of a of an issue uh, because both the Hawk and the U Wing can just stop dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, really good if you can set them to come in and maybe hit your flank. The U Wing can just pivot ninety, a hundred and eighty, or two seventy, depending on what way it wants to go, and the red becomes a white. So Benfic's going to get his two focuses. And as you can see, uh, he's already using the uh, gin there to mm -hmm. uh, get for the evade. The... Yeah, uh, has got both because he wasn't within range to pass it on. Like his ability says, it has to be within range one to two, and everybody else was further than that. So he's quite lucky. So uh, currently have almost fifty viewers. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, it's always great here at the XTC uh, having people like from all over the world. Uh, like most of the time, I'm asking everybody in Twitch chat, so tell me where you're from. Uh, it's always nice to see like the different places and countries and nationalities that we have here on stream. And yeah. and, and of course, like the the um, yeah the connection between uh, the content creators, so our uh, us streamers as well, is really great. I mean, I have been uh, on on other streams as uh, as a co-host as well. I've had different people uh, on on my stream as as uh, commentary, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, again, that is one good thing I've said it like many times before. The only good thing coming out of this pandemic is like online TTS X Wing and uh, getting to know so many people from all over the world yeah absolutely and um I, I know it's not going to really make too much of an effort but as you can see on screen right now there are seven tokens as i said by round three this is where you should be ending up yeah so um oh we're getting shots so. oh we're getting the first shots uh, they're not rolling in the dice box okay they're not well and um, oh okay so the first shot that's that's fine second shot three hits yep so there we go we got the dice cam yep, yep. on why is my Background music always stopping. This is annoying. There we go. So, uh, Marcel Manzano in the chat. Oh, hello. Asking what's the record in this match. Uh, currently, Germany is up 1 0. And JW4, thank you for following our channel. So, uh, sorry, I wasn't like concentrating and focusing on the dice rolls, but seems like there was no damage with like one gajillion focus and evade tokens lying around.
So yellow IG, like IGD has to be really careful now um, because I mean, uh, there are could be potentially be like four ships uh, concentrating on you right now and uh, this has to be like he has to be really careful now um he could try to do like something like a like a boost and then a, a fast straight maneuver to get behind and past the rebel ships So oh, we got a couple of people from the States here with us. <laughs> Dodo from Sugar Cow Land. So it seems like I lost Simon. Everybody's leaving me today. I don't know why. Everybody seems to have, like, internet connection problems today. Not me, it, I, I hope. <laughs> stream, stream looking stable right now. So, red in a good position. Ah, there we have somebody from Iceland, Gizli, from Thule Squadron Radio. Team buddy of Stefan. Of course, rooting for his teammate. Yeah, the snail master. I agree. Uh, he's writing in the chat. I do appreciate all the flagships in the XCC. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature as well. So nothing too much happened in this game for now. Like I said before, uh, IG-88D has to be really careful now. I mean, do you think there's like any other thing going on for the Rebels except for hard turning in? When you're in a perfectly defined position uh, to do that. Uh, how does this 90 degree thing with the pivots work again? Uh, let me take a look at the card. I have... Uh, before you activate, you may flip this card. I don't see how this... Is. I'm, you, you can flip it and then you can do a stop maneuver and then like turn around, I think. I'll always forget... So, oh my god, Simon back at least at the table back again. Let's hope he will be back in the voice as well. Ah, people from Denmark here as well. A lot of Britannia. Hmm. Where could you be from? <laughs> Hello to you too. So, did this stop the time or anything? No. Because, uh... Taking quite some time now. Uh, but looks like they're about to be ready. I mean, this is like a tough, tough round now. Uh, deciding what to do with IG-88D. And it seems like Simon is back. I am back. I have no idea what happened, so I will say nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, he's in a bit of a bad spot. He, he's... I mean, he can do a one forward, but the fact that um, three of the other ships kind of move first is, is a bit grim. Mm -hmm. So... Ugh. Yeah, D could get hit, but then in saying that, a very large bank to the right there from uh, B could also help. Um, 
you know, a boost and then that the three bank to the yes. right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Could the, be it. So. The boost before uh, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about um, yellow maybe boost and then do like a fast straight maneuver for straight to try to get past the the rebels here if they are going to turn in. Oh, there we see the, the pivot wings. Yep, the uh, three layer charges have uh, just been popped. Um, and this, I like a great thing. Um, you can see just how good this layer thing is. And remember, those charges will reoccur. Uh, so in three more turns, uh, he can do that again. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving what he's doing here. So that uh, three hard to the right is a red. No, it's not. It's now a white. Uh, so he yeah, he popped layer. Yeah, so there's absolutely tons going on in here. So he'll probably take another uh, focus, pass that over to Hera, because Benthic has already given his focus to Garvin. So if all of these ships end up pointing towards B, e, that's, that's, that's bad news, Brown. So there we go. He does boost and does the three. So mm -hmm. nice. Um maybe yellow is hard turning to the right and then boosting uh, uh that would be what i would do i would disengage totally yeah uh but yeah. also means that you're like sort of trapped in that corner uh but i mean the the, the rebel ships are facing in another direction anyway probably yep i, I would assume so um kind of looks like he he's always oh, went right in that, that's a brave maneuver, that one. Ooh. Oh, I mean, that's a range one, th four die shot, probably, from Kyle, with all the focuses in the world. Okay. Oof. And he, quite rightly, takes a double calculates. Why not Which boost, though? I mean, um, I mean, I mean, there's still the side arc uh, of the hawk, but now you yeah. are range one primary, and that's another range yeah. one shot. So there's going to be four die each if Kyle is at range one. Mm -hmm. And what I'd really like to see here is Harak doing like a five fold, staying with them, but not quite staying with them and getting out of getting out of dodge does not do that okay it's all guns blaze hey. so, uh, oh. why, why is the overlay not putting the initiative symbol right next to oh it, oh it, uh okay takes a couple of seconds okay it does take a couple of seconds oh. so there you go takes an evade because uh, she's gonna get shot yeah because Hera's not in the best position. But it's an awful lot of red dice going into D. Mm-hmm. And okay. that... Timo probably lucky about that. Nothing yeah. there from Hera. And now Garvin. Uh, sh shouldn't, yep. shouldn't IG shoot first if Timo has initiative? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, you should actually. It'd be because totally because up, Garvin up moves this. after uh, IG, yep. right? Yeah. Did we, did so we miss the it. shot or what happened? No, there? the first shot was from Hera. That was the three die shot that yeah. uh, blanked out. But it should be the two IGs firing first. Yes, it should be. Uh, so maybe. So. I'm not sure. Zero. That's not bad, just a shield. Okay. Not bad. Still wondering why the IGs did not shoot first, but hey. So, uh, Garvin getting a lock? Not that's hmm i'm confused 
I'm, I'm, I'm very I'll tell confused. you right, just, right how it is. I'm confused. Yeah, there's no way that he can get a lock without it being passed from Hera, and he didn't take a lock at the start, and he has got nothing on his side of the board that would give him a on le oh thread tracers oh yes it'd be thread tracers true so uh ig had no calculates there to no not to at spend. all spend Um, that was the auto blaster shot. Yeah. With the IGB ab ability. Yeah. And evaded. Okay. So four die shot has to go into Hera. Doesn't matter how many tokens she yeah. has. You need to split them if nothing else. Not bad. Crit, crit. Could be better. No, no focus roll. So probably nothing. Yeah, you, Hera's got an evade, got a focus, so... Yeah, I'd sp I would genuinely spend that uh, evade right now. Yeah, spend the evade, the evade, dodge, and take the auto blaster shot and still have the focus left. Yeah. Or maybe... That's what I or maybe spend the focus, because there is a possibility that you don't roll any uh, eye symbols. Yeah, that's also true. So let's see what they have decided to do. Okay, it looks like uh, Twitch chat is telling us that they rewinded it. Ah, good. Okay, and now it's Garvin. Uh, no, it's no, no, it's uh, maybe we missed that. Okay, <laughs> anyway, sacred board state seems to be correct. And now we've got uh, we've got the hawk. Oh. Uh, four die range one, two hits and a crit. For good. Mm, does That's he good. have a calculate left? No, that is Welcome shields to... gone. And there's still one more shot from and the, the, the good thing for Timo think... here is that uh, although at range one. So, uh, okay, they were reversing it, uh, the tracers didn't hit, and then there was the the right order. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, like we, like we were, um, well, predicting, uh, yellow in a bad spot, losing all shields, getting one damage into hull, uh, still not half points though, but, um... Yeah, D yeah. Difficult spot now because um, you kind of wanna maybe do something like boost and then do a sloop with a uh, yellow. Um, good thing Leia is gone for now, uh, so she's got one charge back up. Um, yeah, I but, mean, a, a, a good player should be able to use Leia twice in a game but it also depends greatly on whether or not it's effective or not mm -hmm. in the game yeah you know if you get yourself in a tight spot to be able to spin around uh with benthic is really good and the good thing there for for timo was that with the wings closed it's 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 not as a horrible attack as the as the, the full three die one is mm -hmm. so uh he, he got away with one there i think I know the seals are gone, but that's you're going to do that if you're getting four four ships shooting you consistently. Okay. Oh, here I lost a shield. I have to yes, yeah. do that right on the auto overlay. So not a bad trade for Iceland, to be honest. Yes. Yes. That was a good round for Stefan here. Um. 
although nobody scored any points yet. Uh, no. Uh, Stefan still up a bit. Um, I mean, IG88D is only one away from half points. Yep, and they are expensive ships, you know. Yeah, yeah, loaded yeah, yeah 50 the, points. Upgrades. Yeah. And uh, for Timo to get 50 points back in would mean um, killing Kyle would not be enough. Killing Garvin would not be enough. So basically, you need one and a half ships or or uh, yeah. a full Benthic. Yeah, but uh, he's now got a, a fantastic thing. None of his ships are stressed. He can start doing all his uh, advanced sensor, double calculate, and then sloop with D to get mm -hmm. out of uh, the ranges. And, and Red can just very, very easily just take a, a hard, hard... Have they got a hard one? The guy, it's been that long since I've flown one. Uh, the IGs? Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah, so if he was to sloop right with D and hard one with B, then yeah, I, I think uh, variants will swing highly back into Germany's favor. So he's, yeah, he's taken a bit of damage, but um, you know, B's completely untouched. Out of which there are proton bombs kicking about, which uh, are kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I, only only D is uh, in a in a position to drop a bomb. Um, if Garvin, I mean Garvin is moving after D, so that comes in nice and handy for him because you can just turn in turn in all the ships, right? Oh, all of them, absolutely all of them. Yeah, I was can first. I was thinking about yeah, maybe Garvin doing a 4K. Getting a better like like arc with the uh, with the front arc, uh, a little bit more like widened angle. Uh, but I mean, of course, in, with this synergies, you want to you want to keep them in formation and close together as long as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, in my opinion, uh, those wings need to be opened and probably just bump with Benford uh, because I mean he can because of that layer thing actually just do another zero and stay yes, exactly yes. where he is uh, but um oh, it's it's tough it is actually tough because uh, if it's a three bank sloop from d that'll put him just beneath where hera is so actually staying there he would get a really good range one shot but minus one back so mm, don't know yeah, it's 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 tough, and uh, that's the thing with the IGs. There are like you have you have a lot of options with the advanced sensors, um, but I mean, if you're playing up against four ships or more, you're always like in a position where you um, kind of have to be like cautious and maybe don't want to be too aggressive in fear of losing uh like half a ship or even a whole ship too soon in a game oh absolutely and that's that's why this xtc has been fantastic because no matter if you play competitively um or just on your kitchen table what you're seeing are these guys and timo rabbi has been one of the best online players i've seen this year he yeah. has been superb in so many really big tournaments uh so he knows how to fly but so does stefan and this is why I kind of asked, could I join in? Because this game is going to be a, a, a superb game of action. Yeah. Uh, usually, usually when, when, when Timo's playing, you know, it's going to be a banger. Yeah. So there's the advanced sensors for the calculates. And just... Wow. Okay. Does not go for the sleep. Goes Two. for the three. Yeah. And the bump with, with red. So yeah. Advanced sensor right. self bump. Yeah. Yep, uh, to, you know, that you've got all your tokens. Uh, at the minute, he's getting two shots. It all really depends on where uh, Garvin and Hera go now. Because yeah. if I can fall out of Proton was going there, I'm sure uh, he can. I hope he's not doing a one bank to the right. I hope not. So Garvin might do something like... X-Wings, they have a hard two, right? They do have a hard two. 
Yeah, so. they too. So, but that would mean that you're forcing either Garvin to just, just take the one shield, which I think is okay for him, yeah, or, or, right. or barrel roll away. I don't think he can barrel no. roll to the right. No. Though. That's the problem. Yeah. So Kyle in the way. So yeah, you, you basically just just take the damage. Yep, you just take the damage, but then do you maybe try and put it if it fits? Would you not maybe want to take that and put it on Kyle? Kyle's your number one target. You, you need to stop all the shenanigans. And yet Hera can pass a token, but if she bumps this, this becomes very hard uh, to get all the good shenanigans off. So we're already... <laughs> Uh, three tokens down, and I like that. That's a good move. Ooh, okay. But it's a good move. Is that range one? Will not oh. give her arc on yellow, I think. Oh, it's, I, it's close. Oh, that's so tight. That's so tight. So, so Hera out. Here's, here's his choice. Now, both Kyle and uh, Garvin take one damage from the bomb. Yep straight away and did Hera get anything there I don't uh, so tell me again where did Hera get the focus token from uh, that can be passed at the end of the round. Kyle Katarn allows you as oh, long yeah. as you're in uh, uh, range one, which uh, he is. So as long as it's in a fire and arc, sorry, not range one. Yeah. Uh, and with having a shot outside and a shot at the front, yeah, she's easily within his thing. So that's where she gets that from. So which is one uh, Kyle deciding not to spend the focus for defense, taking the damage, losing the shield. So yep. IG uh, red IG gets the damage through. Now IGD, yep. maybe same target, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, possibly, possibly. I, I mean, all all three are unobstructed. You're gonna get the double tap. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have <laughs> bolt's eye on Garvin uh, with the auto blaster. Um, yeah. Means one. Additional die still. Ah, oh, uh, another not a good roll here. Yeah. Not great. I mean, you got the double tap, so you hope. Okay, I you I'll probably just take it. It's the best chance, I guess. I uh, I I would I would spend that. Oh, and oh it doesn't takes it. Oh, takes it wants to keep the focus. Now, Garvin. And now. Um, surely, surely he's got to take Kyle off. On yellow. As expected. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's okay for Timo here. Not so good for Garvin. Yeah, uh, yeah rolling average. Yeah. Being fine. Evading that. Dodging the first shot. So does he have a main gun attack? So he's he's going for the one at the side, which uh, is only two die, not the three. Yeah, I'd, I'd be very very content. But then it's end up uh, yellow is only one away from half points. Yeah. So, so spend the focus for two. Out. Uh, IG has. Bo oh wow, that oh. is unfortunate. Uh Elusive gets the re-roll, yeah. At least, but still takes one, and that is um fifty points in the bank for Team Iceland. Yeah. yeah. And there's still Benthic to go. Oh and, yeah. Uh, we'll also get a range one shot. Yeah. No mods on his side, I think. No mods because of the bump, but uh we're still now looking at a or die attack. Now he's yeah. got to calculate, so that could help. And I would spend both of them if the the eyeballs come up. Yeah, but absolutely. Let's see what he gets. Oh, hit crit. And this time, 
is fine. Well, yeah. yeah, a little bit of a bit, a little bit of uh, being unlucky, unlucky here uh, with the shot from Kyle. Uh, he had two calculates, rolling nothing, at least one from the elusive. Yeah, and that's like. But yellow, I mean, like he's still in the game. Yes, he's yes, he's stressed because of the K turn, which is okay. But he he can still probably get out of this, as in he's not going to take four shots in mm -hmm. the next turn. Yeah. So he has got the ability to like either stay stressed and get out of there. Um. But I, I actually do like where B is. B once yellow has moved. Has, could get a really good shot into uh, Kyle if he can. Again, it all depends on where Stefan puts his uh, Heritani list. Mm -hmm. it's Kyle, Kyle needs another focus. Yeah. So Leia, um, two charges now. Yep. So at the end of the subsequent turn that they are in the planning phase four, the one after. He can do that all again. Get all those reds uh, to whites and all the whites to blues. So not bad if you're stressing ships out this turn because then you can just pop it even if you're not going to uh, do a red maneuver. Yeah. If you're stressed, you know, the next one's just easy. It's just really easy. It's, it's such a good list. It's just fantastically good. Yeah. But like all good lists that uh, rely on a, a certain win condition, if you start taking 25% of that off, if you get a ship off, that that reduces its capability a great deal. Yeah, and it can be like, like, like a house of cards. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Really strong, but lose a ship. It's like the, the winds of change start happening, and it's not quite as effective as it was the round before. So what you reckon is uh, Timo going to do with yellow? I mean, you basically are a bit limited to the blue maneuvers now because you don't want to keep the stress token. Uh, well, you know, uh, I've I've had the pleasure of, of watching this guy, as I say, all year on various events. And he can do the unexpected. It wouldn't surprise me if he did a white maneuver to get out of arms. Because, like all X Wing players, he's not thinking just about this. He's thinking about it the next turn after this mm -hmm. and probably the one after that. Yeah. So he's going to try and get his ship as far away from these guns as humanly possible. In my opinion, Benthic's going to do a, a one bank or a zero and stay there to try and catch D. Kyle do a possibly a too hard and get right in there for the block i have no idea what he's going to do with garvin that asteroid's horrible to him mm. so, uh, hard yeah, to know yeah the x-wings don't have a hard one uh the hard two might clip the rock with the template i i, I think the hard two does clip the template yeah. but it Again, it's very, very close, but then that would put him just in front of of D if he pulls that off. I mean, you could force a self bump with Garvin into Hera to try yep. and block like a straight blue maneuver from uh, IGD. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Just like let let the Ewing stop, let Kyle stop, and. Uh... I mean, I mean, if Kyle stops, then uh, IGD might bump into uh, into Kyle, which would also be fine, I think, because uh, yeah. Timo want, wants to uh, shoot further into Kyle with with starting uh, to to do some damage there, and um, yeah, you get a nice shot with Yuving uh, in range one again. Yeah, so it might not be the worst to do that but it's what do i definitely know? not the worst it's not the worst and and timo can look at the other side of the board and see he's already halved kyle so two more and he's gone uh one more damage into hera and she is halved now she's the cheapest ship in this entire list the rest all cost more points 
than Hera with their tricers. Mm -hmm. But getting rid of Kyle and Hera stops all the nonsense of, oh, here, uh, please take uh, a focus and turn it in the invade. So you want Jin gone. Yeah. It, it's Jin pretty much enables this to hardly take any damage. And as you've seen, two of the damage was done by a proton bomb. So it, ugh. it uh, this is going to be super key. Ever comes out of this up would look to maybe have the upper hand and saying as there is mm -hmm. what about yeah. half an hour to go. Like where on earth has forty five minutes gone? Yeah, I don't know either. Um I'm just looking at the chat. Uh people are watching, keep please keep in mind, uh by XTC rules we have a ninety <laughs> second delay uh for our oh, stream. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get me starting. Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, when we're talking about the dice rolls here with AIG, of course you guys are right. Um, all in all, was average. It was just like the one uh, roll here with uh, IG 88D rolling all blanks. Of course, like in total, um, it, it evens out absolutely. So yeah, yeah. the dice were not so, like tilting in, in, in one direction like heavily at all. Absolutely not. That's exactly what I thought Benthic would do. Because he wants oh. to get a, a, a mod and then pass it on. Because oh. that's great. Because given that the Garvin means Garvin can spend it and give it to Hera. That was close, though. I mean, yep. look at the small gap between Benthic oh. and IGD here. It was Precision. Had a good Precision. eye. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think that's going to fit. Yeah, so advanced sensors. Yeah. So take your double. Oh, no, you, you, you cannot uh, advance sensors when you're st stressed, can you? No, you can't. So it's only D gets the double calculates. Oh, well, where's Garvin going to go? This, this, is, this is the question. Yeah, B taking the calculates. I mean, the good thing is... No, it's not. He does not have IG-88A, so no token sharing here. Benthic wanted to pull off... Uh, not Benthic, Garvin wanted to pull off a cheeky three Talon here. That's not working, so one more ship... Uh, or at least one ship not shooting into IG-88D. Now, this is getting interesting now. Uh, IGB having a nice shot into an unmodded Garvin here now. Oh, so it seems like we lost Simon again. Probably be back soon. So, Actilion in the chat writing, I think Timo will try to set up a proton bomb for next round. Um, yeah. I think yellow is in a very good spot to drop another proton here. Uh, let me mark that on the overlay, actually, that he only has one bomb left. B still has two, but uh, basically. Probably not in a good position to drop any bombs here. So, there we go. Shot on Kyle again, I'd assume, with the Auto Blaster. Hit crit. Uh, will he spend the focus? He spends the focus from Hera. Yeah. Uh, still taking a crit. And the crit is disabled power regulator.
IG-80 debumped. Uh, uh, I actually didn't see that. So first, let me let me focus on the shots here. Uh, IG-80B. Mm, only rolling one hit, so nothing there. So Garvin, what's oh that was on Kyle. I'm sorry. Uh, Garvin yeah, well. still has one left. So let me get this away. So that was disable power regulator on Kyle. Yep. So one away from Doom, mm -hmm. which is exactly what Timo needs to do: is try and get. Kyle off the board. Yeah, auto blaster so shot easy. on Garvin. Is that correct? It, it looked like it. it, like he was pointing. It looked like it. it. Looked like he pinged him. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, he stripped off his shield of Garvin. Why didn't he? Did he not have arc on Kyle? He. He may not have. Hmm. This, uh, so, this could, so much happening right now. So yeah. th this is Garvin's shot. Ooh. Wow. Wow. We, we need paint. Elusive. And, uh, <sighs> yay. Elusive actually wow. proving its worth here. That's fantastic greens. Oh. Uh, and uh, he needed that. That was a big shot. Yes. So absolutely evens out now the 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 blank rolls in, in the turn before that yep so next shot from kyle into ig88d yep and, oh it uh, was iron was... cannon into kyle Ooh. neat <laughs> Oh, and uh, and IG-80D blanking out again. Oh, damn. Zero point. Two away. I mean, st still okay, I think, with taking one damage. But now, yeah. Benthic has the range one shot. Oh, sorry. That is four um, hits. That there. could be a dead IG. I think yeah. it certainly yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Ooh, IG 88D gone. Now it's quite an uphill battle. IG 88B against the world. And. Oh, that's. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, uh, Timo needs 76 points uh he can so, so the good news for timo is b is completely untouched so that is a you know eight hull of a ship that they've got to get through so in my opinion benthic has to move first and will probably stop dead mm. trials yeah, Kyle Lea is up again. Yeah. Left, and he is Ion. So he is going one forward and he can't do anything about it. And only take a focus, which is delightful for a moldy grow titled Hawk. Mm -hmm. Garvin will move after IG-88. So there isn't an awful lot for two tubes to do. Not really. So you could do your double focus advanced sensors and then try and take Kyle off. How much is Kyle? Uh, Kyle in total is 49 points. So would okay. give him 25 points. Still needs 50 more to uh, even the score. Yep. yep. So uh, Garvin is what, 40, 40 something? Uh, Garvin is 46. Yeah. So 
even that wouldn't be enough if he needs 50. And here goes Stefan with his Leia Malarkey. And I really like that move. I really like that move. And Leia showing how integral that she is in this thing just stays exactly where he is. The, the stop becomes a white, so can pass over the focus to Hera, which he does. That's, yeah, that's that's better. Oh. And then uh, get another focus. Yeah, I'm looking at Twitch chat again. Uh, people are as confused as I am, to be honest, uh, with with IG ADD not bumping into Benthic here. Um, yeah, that's that's very strange because he didn't make the maneuver which means he should go along the template as far as possible uh, so it's what I, I i did not what maneuver did uh so he tried to do the three bank to the left yeah and it failed but it didn't come up to say it had bumped or anything like that at all and that's that's yeah, beyond that... unfortunate does the um, chat here show if a ship bumped? I'll have a quick look. Bantic stays station. IG-80. Oh, wait. In range. Let's, let's have a look. I am confused. I'm just going to tag a judge and ask the pl uh, that he can ask the players yeah because uh just trying to find it myself do do we have to do you remember if we have to do that in the where's the judge there we go yeah it, yeah in the judge bit yeah uh which table are they playing b table one uh b Table one confusion about IGD not bumping Benthic. Yeah, I, I think I'm, that's. I mean, I, I mean, we're so far in the game right now. I don't know if they are able to to rewind that. Uh, I mean, especially with Timo, he he would have been absolutely uh, happy about the bump into Benthic because it would mean. One less shot. Yeah, and, and that's. I mean, I, I mean, it would mean a shot from Garvin. On the other hand, in range one, if he would have bumped. Uh, oh no, Garvin would have bumped into uh, IGD as well. I, 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 I'm really, really confused in this game. A lot of times, <laughs> there's so yeah, many they... things. So many things have been very, very strange. The only good thing there for uh, Teemo is that he took absolutely no damage that round, which is really, really good. Yeah. And to, to be honest, like, let, let's speak frank here. Uh, that's why I really don't like to interfere in games as a streamer at all. Uh, exactly. Because I'm not, he I'm not hearing what the players are, are, are saying. I am not. Did they stop, stop the time? Yeah, they did. Might be the judge who is now at the table. Yeah. So I, I've heard of, of things like this happening before. If a ship is removed off the board and isn't deleted, they can't actually put it back to where it was. Because they've now went on to a completely new subsequent turn. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's probably what the judge call will be. Uh, whether that's fair or not is, is not down to us. So streamers, you and I both streamed many many games in this wonderful tournament and things do happen but it, the number one priority is for both players to keep the board state accurate yeah. so uh that's down to them more i'm glad they've stopped it i'm glad that there's not a judge uh, dealing with it but if they deal with it the same way that i saw uh one of the other xtc games um the, you should almost delete the ship because then you can type in a command yeah and the ship appears where it was but then you've got to undo all the other things it's very complicated when you're onto the next one and they've already done all their shooting for this turn yeah. too uh they started the time back so seems like uh <laughs> they talked to the judge and 
Yeah, that's that's super unfortunate for Germany. That's that's yeah, that's a shame. Okay. So our head judge writing all good. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy about that. So there might be something that we I don't know that everyone missed and that they were talking about and maybe had to do something with I don't know advanced sensors do we I, I don't know I, I actually cannot explain how that happened uh, no. yeah I thought I was wondering um, but I, I, I'm always careful with rushing things like this too soon with like oh uh, IGD uh, should have bumped let's contact the judge because I miss things quite a lot um yep. because like you know it uh, yourself when you stream it you have got like eyes on the chat you've got eyes on the overlay if uh, the state yep. is correct with shields and hull and everything you have an Absolutely. eye on on your on your uh, stream software on obs uh, you're looking if the bit rate is okay if the stream is working fine um yeah so you miss quite a lot of things that's why i usually um don't want to interfere in games at all not even like calling a judge or anything um just when there's like absolutely <laughs> sure there's something really 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 not right uh with the game yeah so i mean like what everyone else who's watching this amazing stream is that this is still a computer game with a whole lot of scripting and oh yeah yeah and sometimes it goes wrong and it does go wrong quite a lot um the early doors of the xtc people were putting in their maneuvers and uh, the maneuver was coming up as the one that they did before yeah um it happened to the world champion he uh, wanted to do a five straight with his ob1 and it did the one forward that then well it got a ship exploded yeah. so you know it, it does happen they have now fixed that which is really good um so well done to the team who uh moderate this game yeah. but things do happen so. i had that on uh was it yesterday i think i streamed uh uh yeah uh, it was not an xtc game it was the the final of the uh german tts league uh where we had um a player using the decloak token to decloak uh whisper yep. and it uh and tts uh, didn't use the two uh straight template but the one just doing like a, a normal barrel roll and wow uh, yeah that was quite confusing so, so let's concentrate on the on the shots now so we have Absolutely. hit it crit um range one in the benthic yes uh so benthic he already lost shields so i missed that yeah. oh, that's probably last round uh so blinded pilots there we go yeah so let's take a look at the chips um benthic down on shields two into hull one is blinded pilot kyle still uh left Still with one Hera, one shield uh gone one left and garvin with two shields left mm -hmm. igb so far unharmed uh yep, okay. will be because there's no shots coming in so not bad not bad another another three in the benthic and that is the most expensive ship in the heritani list so uh, that's what roughly about is it 60 can't remember mm, yeah i think so i'm gonna have to look it up i'll look it up i have all my lists right in front of me so that's kind of easy to do so benthic in the u-wing is a, a mass of 46 points and Leia, I believe, is seven. She is. So that's 53. And then we also have what else is on this? Well, Hera is 44, Garvin 46, Kyle 49, Benthic 61. Yeah, because our perceptive co pilot is eight full points. So, yeah, 61 points that would make a huge difference to to the game it's uh not long left to go yeah i mean uh wing condition here is probably to kill benthic get yep one more hit into garvin and timo's yep. up in 
uh, up in points, I think. Absolutely. And uh, I appreciate that in the systems phase. There is a proton bomb. Uh, but the good thing about Benthic is he, he can just whiz about here and uh, act as a gigantic blocker. Yeah, but uh, IGB can like boost to the right. Uh, could that fit? And then a sloop afterwards. So, uh, uh, Benthic has to pass uh, one of those focus tokens. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a mail. It's a mail. He can keep it if he wishes. Okay. Uh, and yeah. with Jin, turns that one into a. Um, An evade. Evade, yes. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Kyle, with only his one hull left, has decided, uh, you know, we'll let the rest of the people take, take on. Take on on B. Interesting to see where uh, these two ships at the bottom of the screen end up going. Yeah. Advanced sensors and a bump. That's pretty good. That's well done. He's going to take a damage from his own proton, but I don't think he cares about that. And there is a half on Garvin. That's oh. so we'll Can't definitely help. take the crit, which is good for Timo, uh, which Very would mean uh, half points already without uh, needing to shoot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hera coming in. Oh, this is now really, really exciting. So still. It looked quite bad after IG-88D died, but now we can see it can be still a really, really close game. Yep. So it's still a close game, and that feel like is not good for Garden. Uh, why? Why did IGB not move? Uh, so IG did a one forward, uh, but did advanced sensors to get his double calculate first. Oh, he bumped into into into, into oh, Garvin then. Oh, yeah, taking taking the one shoot from the proton bomb, which I think is absolutely okay. The range one shot from Garvin into IGB is uh, that could that's be dangerous. Boring. Yeah. So, so now that's first, Hera shooting only one. Timo evading that. Now, quite easily. So no uh, range one, primary into Benthic. Yep, and Benthic doesn't have an awful lot of dice, just the two, so a good roll here. Yeah, if you if you roll four hits, uh, Benthic is dead. Oh, yeah. No, he's not. He's got two green dice, right? Yeah. Oh, spent the calculates. Spend them both. Do you spend them both? He's, oh. he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. You know, it's it's already... Oh, yeah, he, he chooses violence. And he does, and that is, I applaud that in a great deal. So three hits and a crit. Will the greens keep him up? Spends both. I take nothing from the primary. Yeah, he takes hit crit. Still. Nice. So, wound pilot. pilot, one left. Yeah. One left. Direct hit would have been nice for Timo. So okay. now Garvin has no mods. Ah, oh, does not need three. That's, that is good. That's a splendid. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a target lock. A target lock from Hera. Ooh, that's what Hera for wants. four. That's a huge. Ooh. Oh, and completely blanks out. Elusive for one. So takes three. It's a one Still not half. Four. Still not half. Yet still not half yet, and that's all she wrote in this round. So, next round, Benthic has to die to give Timo a chance. Yes, uh, but losing one more uh, help on IG, and uh, Stefan still has to, has to lead again. Uh, yeah. If 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 he if he loses Benthic, that is. Um, I mean, Benthic could just like stop here. And Benthic could easily stop here and just get get the block in and allow Garvin to do an easy one to the right, uh, easy two from 
uh, Hera and try and do that because I don't think if Benthic stops, I can't see any way of Benth of uh, IG88B getting a shot in this round, and that's that's the bad thing. Oh wow, this is a really, really, I, really close one. Yep, yeah, like like most of these games in the XTC have been nail biters right to the end. If it goes to time, it's going to time for a reason. So Hera in a really good position. Garvin in a nice position. Uh, Benthic also in a good position for a potential block here. So this is all looking very good for Stefan here, I think. It, 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 Positional-wise, Blinded Pilot, which I'm sure everybody in the chat knows, is you can only modify your dice by spending a force, which he doesn't have. And Wounded Pilot's even more critical, so totally to save him having to do anything. Stop dead. You get a stress and you can't take an action. So no rolling an attack die, no five and eight of you exploding, giving away the points. So, hmm. interesting. Interesting. So, I, I wouldn't what, move him at all. What do you think of IG going for Kyle? Like, like turn left, um, killing off Kyle, and uh, Hera and, and, and Garvin like going in the other direction, uh, and not, I, not having a shot? It's The two hard would probably fit. The one hard will definitely fit. Um, let's see where we're at. The, um, so, uh, Leia, Leia again? Oh, and that, that's that's going to be problematic in every way for Timo. That, that's really, really rough. So the wings have to be closed if he's going to spin around, which he is going to do. And uh, that's a good move. Going for 90 degrees? Yep, that's, uh, that's a real good move. Uh, it's going to pass that to Garvin. Yeah. Which is definitely the way to do it. Uh, there's the three, which should be red. No, it isn't. So another... Um, that, that's white, so he can't get rid of his stress. Yeah. So no extra action. Oh, green viper in the chat, redeeming the Chewy roar. I. So, Kyle, yeah. <sighs> this... Has to take, has to take his stuff. He's not getting shot by Benthic. That's great. Oh, oh man, I'm sweating. So... Not gonna lie. <laughs> It's, I, I'm not surprised, mate. That's, that's, that anytime I stream an Ireland game, I, I get sweaty palmed and I'm a bit overexcited. Yeah. Uh, he has to take uh, his two calculates. He has to. Uh, damage needs to be updated on IGB. Uh, there is like no so shields. There's, there's one. So he should have four hull left. Uh, oh, it, it's wrong on the overlay. Why is it wrong on the overlay? I put it here. It's five. How left, right? Yeah, and no shields. Why is he not updating that? Give me a second. Yep. I, I, um, the the TTT overlay today is quite messy. It's like acting up. I don't know why. Yeah, but then if you're suffering from an, a horrendous rainstorm and electrical stuff. Yes. That, that yeah, the well. rainstorm is like like doing no favors for me. I see my see my uh, bit rate. the The stream is uh, well, on the edge of dying. It, this it, this is the key moment. Yeah. So please, have, please, one. internet, don't die on me. It's only one. Will he spend the focus to make it two? Doesn't survives. Garvin bumped into the robot. And here, so let's is see. Your big decision. Let's see if Kyle. Do you go three v three to try and get one three, or do you go four v three in the Hera? No, I think you're going to Kyle. Kyle does not have a focus. No, 
completely unmodded. Hera has a focus. Oh, this is tough. It is tough. And now my Twitch chat, my Twitch, my bit raid. Oh no! Oh. Oh god. One and two blanks. That's. Oh. Oh. I mean, it was such a good move here. It was a good round for Timo. Yeah, but... Does not pay off. And yeah, I was Kane... wondering, why why didn't he drop a bomb? <coughs> he, he should have dropped a bomb. Yeah. And um, I'm just looking at the game clock. So this is the and... second shot from IG, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, it is. Spent the calculate. Hey, and gets it. Gets it. Yep. Kyle is down. Yep. Uh... Timo so up by Kyle, three points now. Kyle has been initiative killed Ooh. by the A4. And now you thought it was nail biting before. Good God, is this going to be crazy? Ooh. Last round nerves. I hope people are uh, nice and comfy. <laughs> and this, this, is this is an absolute it's nail biter. Good. It's, you never write off Team Rally. Oh, and not and, one. And now, not ever. now he has a bomb, uh, bomb left, and and that bomb is is, is uh, wait, Benthic is down to one. That bomb is going to kill Benthic. Is there any way that he can get out out of that bomb? Mm, no. Well, he could go left. Mm, yes. As far as possible as he can to keep him on the board. Yeah. Because that means one thing. Well kind of you know i mean as there's the time on the, on the clock at at you, you would just you would stress yourself out and go as far left as is humanly possible but stay, still stay on the map yeah and then it's down to pixels pixels worth of stuff and and i i, I oh my god let me check his dial let me check the u-wing dial so he can do it too hard to the left. Mm-hmm. That should that's fit. It. That's, his, that's his own. So it will fit. But will it no. get him out of No, no, control? will not. Will not. I don't and think it so. Will not. So there's a ship gone. Depending on where Hera and Garvin go, you've also got to remember that one damage on the Hera is half points. He's already got half on the Garvin. And Garvin has a fuel leak. Which, if you remember, if you suffer a crit which that will give him you then suffer another oh uh, yes oh they're rolling for wounded die. pilot uh so benthic gets a stress token yep oh huge there oh i tell you how it is this is like one of the most exciting games of the xcc that i've not only seen but also seen so far it's it's fantastic. Now here's the thing, Garvin will move after Benthic and can literally fly as fast as possible and do a barrel roll. So I don't think Garvin will even get a shot in here. Yeah. I think it's all down to where Hera ends up. Yeah. So where does IG go? Your stream. You tell the chat where you think he'll go. I. Have a very good idea where I'd go, but um, with with IG, you mean? Yep. Um, I'd probably. Uh, well, this is tough. This is tough. Um, maybe maybe boost and go for a straight. Uh, a little boost. Or a boost, the... boost, and or then little... heart two to the right. Hide behind the rock, but no, no, then then you will give Hera a shot on you and Garen yep. probably as well. Uh, maybe even. Uh, I mean, uh, now now that you know, uh, Benthic is stressed. He cannot do the the the, the pivot wing stop and 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 yep. turn around anymore. So you just go like hard left. 
he he's going to remain stref, stressed and do it too hard to the left because if he doesn't and it goes anywhere to the right he's dead it gives him a chance to stay alive if he goes to the left it does give him a chance to get out of there but i can't see that happening yeah hera if hera uh, does a k turn or anything silly at all you know oh this is so good i mean it's, <laughs> Take take your time. Now it looks like Timo's already decided. Like he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, this, and the this is tough it. now. No, you know, now it's down to does the bomb take out Benthic? If it does, that's probably GG. But then one extra hit on IG eighty eight, and that's another fifty points. Yeah. Oh, doesn't get any closer. There's only one card on uh, an IG, right? Correct. Just the one. Yeah. So okay. I just Hold see I, the, the thing again. with with the with the, the stream delay because I see like people arguing about whether uh, IG should be halved. Some say okay, but there's hall upgrade. Then others say even with hall upgrade, you should be halved. No, no. I I, I think it's correctly. I I have five hall left. On IG ADB, I have the score correct. I have Benthic down to one hull, Kyle gone, Hera one shield left, uh, Garvin down half points. So uh, the score 103 to 100 for Timo should be correct. Yep, it should be correct. Uh, as far as I know, uh, if you look in front of IG Idiot B, they're all separate cards, apart from the last three that he took as as a as a lift from the damage deck and mm -hmm. put it on top of it. That to me only looks. I'm just going in as tight as I can here. That looks to me like one card. Yeah. So it, it is. So there is there's the bomb as expected. Bomb yeah. Yep. And I think that catches Benthic. I really do. There's no other hard turns apart from the two left and right. Oh dear God. Okay, let's go. The uh, Hera dial is not set yet, so why is that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's wow. been an interesting game, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It really has. I mean, there's no way. I mean, I Timo with his IG is in really, really, really good position now. Um, yeah. There is, in my opinion, no way for Hera to have a shot. If you turn in, there is no shot. If you sloop, you will probably be out of range, even if you have like the angle for it. Um, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of concerned that uh, you know movement means that all your dials are set, and then you go from planning phase into uh, systems phase. And as that bomb is now on the table, I don't understand oh. how Harry wasn't set. Yes. Seems like they are kind of arguing about that right now. Maybe we're having a little discussion because you can see like the hands flying around. Yep. Oh, good grief. This is, this is. And again, as, as streamers, all we could do if, you know, it, it is normally try and sort it yourselves. If you can't do that, you call the team captains in. Team captains then come to the table. They tell the team captains where they think they're both at, which will be two yeah. different stories. And then if that can't get solved, then it's into a judge. But judges are sometimes much quicker at uh, getting in, as we've already seen in this game. So definitely a big discussion. So now and there we go. Now the dial has been set. So that's it. I wouldn't allow anything else 
if I was Temo to be a dumb adult and Harrod changing the dial again? Again? Question mark? Well, that's you know, if the if the two players are happy, then the two players are happy, yeah, and that's yeah. that's all I can really yeah. suggest to, to say. So apologies to chat if they're screaming at us for not doing anything. But there are specific rules for streamers. Um, um yeah, and I know at some point well, at different points in the game, it has been quite messy. Uh, I apologize for that. There was a lot of confusion going on. Uh, but there were happening so many things. Uh, so, but seems like yeah. all worked out for the best. Uh, I mean, the judge got involved and uh, seems like everything is fine. Yeah, seems fine. You know, uh, with no Kyle, there's no... Um stuff going on and now garvin has changed his his dial what That's... is going on i mean uh, you absolutely know that the proton bomb is coming now in the last turn of the, of the game so yeah it's probably not not like too bad that, that the bomb is already there uh doesn't mean anything i guess no we, we all call that i'm sure everybody in chat called that as well it's 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 the last turn of the game. You would do this anyway. Let's have a, a, a little look. Work called. <laughs> ah, okay. That's what's happening. Okay. Well done, Tim. <laughs> um, I'm, like, I'm liking this. Yeah. Uh, I'm liking this. But, uh, okay. So, um, not quite Banksy material, graffiti. Not quite, but not bad either. That's a solid <laughs> 5 out of 10. That's uh, why we all know what it is. So that is the second time today I have been uh, co-commentating on, on, on Greg's uh, uh, game uh, on Nickel City X-Wing. Yeah, a game yeah. Mexico versus... Um, oh, oh, yeah. What was it? Uh, Mexico versus... Oh, my God. Japan. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, we had the same situation uh, where they stopped the time and we didn't know what was going on. And uh, yeah, that it was uh, the same situation that somebody from work called. And uh, yeah, well, like I said, at that good. time, I'm going to say it again. Priorities, guys, priorities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a game of plastic spaceships. I mean, th this is all it is, but it's a bloody good game. Oh, yeah. Of, uh, I'd, have, I'd have hung up and said, I'll call you back. Yeah. Call you on 10. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Stefan has went ping. I am set. We are all, I think, good. And Benthic will be moving first. So okay. let's do, see what happens. Do, do Don't they, worry about the graffiti. No, yeah. It's all good. They, yeah, they, got, <laughs> they got rid of it. Ooh. Now, Benthic, one bank. Yeah, like straight onto the bomb. I don't care about yeah, so they, yeah, I know I'm gonna die, so whatever. If I kill IG, it doesn't matter if Benthic dies. Uh, if I half IG, sorry. So, um, no. Uh, 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 Barra rolling before maneuvering. Uh, oh, um, uh, come on, words. What's the exit called? Um, He's, um, he, he's given an action to Hera. What's it called again? Uh, Coordinate. <laughs> I'm, I'm like completely, completely lost uh, with what is going on. Ben ben here. Benthic coordinated Hera uh, uh, for a barrel roll. Yep. But can he do a, a coordinate stressed? Uh, he was not stressed. Uh, he did a one bank, then did the... Um, did the, the coordinate for a stress and get the second stress from the wounded pilot. Yeah, so... Oh! So rigged cargo shoot... Oh, the this bump. the bump? Oh. So this is going to come down to where Hera is. And if Hera does... Ooh, that, a hard shot. one! Uh, but she gets shot. if she stays there, she gets uh, the crit. Uh, so half points uh, on Hera as well. Yep. So needs to decide what to do. Can't barrel roll. Did that in 
the system's face, and you can't do the same uh, maneuver again. Yes. So, do you take a focus or do you take a target lock? Yeah. And that's it. That's all. That's that's all that can happen. And it's went for the target lock. So now, if Benthic is dead and Hera is halved, is half of IG enough? Oh! We've all been hit. Oh, Garvin as well. And Garvin has a fuel leak. Garvin has a fuel leak. Oh, so wow. <laughs> so Garvin is left with three. There's stunned. And fuel leak oh, is down to one. Oh, down to one. But then isn't getting shot, so survives. So and ben no additional points. So Benthic is dead. Hera loses Benthic one. Is dead. Hera loses one, so all her shields are gone. She is now giving no. up half points. E even Le Timo's leading by 55 points. Even if uh, IG goes down to half, Timo, Timo wins here. And what a what a bomb. What a bomb. What a bomb and what a game. Unbelievable. Oh, but that's a good roll. It. That's a good roll. But he evades even that. Oh, for the maximum disrespect here. Oh, wow. 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 What a game. What a game. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, congratulations, Timo. This was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing game. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, wow. I need to clip that. <laughs> that was some end in their game. Brilliant. Yeah. Pleasure to be commentating that one. Yeah, you you picked the right one. Definitely. Yeah, well, <laughs> if it's these three guys, you were always going to get a good game. So two superb pilots. Yeah. Oh, uh, and and that cargo drop oh, good for the for the uh obstruction, so getting one more evade die. Uh, yeah. I mean, in the end, uh, I don't know if Timo was aware of that. Probably he was. Uh, but with with uh, half points on Hera, even half points on IGB uh, would not have been enough. Uh, Had they have went through, it was wow. a loose stabilizer and uh, something else wouldn't have made any difference, oh. Oh. even if it were blank. And, and these are the times where I really dislike, the, uh, I, I know why we have it, uh, but I really dislike the, the stream delay because... Uh, we cannot see the reactions like 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 straight away like in real time. Um, anyways, guys, this was this was absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you, Simon, for for being thank with you, us Mark. today. Pleasure uh, as always. Yeah, check out Tonton Squadron uh, on YouTube. Uh, there are going to be uh, some more XTC games live on stream. Let's see who we are going to raid. We got Hexalt up here on Twitch. Does not seem like anybody else for XTC at the moment. So, yeah, I think he might be the only one streaming at the minute. Yep. Lots of games on around around the seven, eight, eight o'clock UTCs. So yep. uh, keep your eyes out. So everybody, let's raid him and uh, goodbye from me and uh, until next time.